first time in history, all four belts in the cruiserweight division will belong proudly around the waist of one man. James Held at Eiffel TV, MTK Global with me. I've got Rocky Field in. Firstly, congratulations on the points win here in Sheffield on the undercard of Brook Rebchenko. Great to see you back in a boxing ring. It seems for ages since September last time we saw you out. Yeah. I mean, talk us a little bit about how, how the day went. Yeah, it's, I said, yeah, it's been a long time. September uh, against Brophy, David Brophy, uh, one round, you know, one round job. Um, and then I've just been ticking over. I thought I was on the Bellevue and A card, and obviously David A. Paul out. So I've just been a bit of a linger, just ticking over, waiting for a day, waiting for something to come up. And uh, four weeks ago, um, Eddie got in touch, said he could squeeze me on here in eight round there. And um, I said, yeah, I'll take it. So, um, you know, it's what I needed. I needed rounds. You know, one round September, and then. The fight before that was was John Ryder April, so grueling twelve rounds. Yeah, right? yeah, and you know, scrappy one for myself with you know over training and things, and I just need to step it up now when opponent wise, and, and you know, and hopefully you know, progress on to the next level and raise me game. Then now I know you've been looking to get back and obviously to get the cobwebs off tonight, yeah. but you vacated your British and Commonwealth title. Is that a signal of intent that? You don't want to hang about the British scene. You're looking to to big names to get that big that big fight experience. Yeah, well, yeah, you know, I, I said a few times, like, you know, if it was if I was five fights ago and and eighteen months ago, then I'd think about you know um, staying around, defending. But where I'm at in my career now and twenty five fights being pro a long time, like you know six seven years, and I'm thirty and. You know, I'm, I'm in the top five in all the governing bodies in the world, and number three. And uh, you know, a lot of the rankings you've got: Groves, De Gale, Callum, Eubank was there. I don't know where he's at now, but and then me, and then below I've boxed three or four lads below, and, and I've beat. So I want to push on. You know, get them. You know, decent level opponents, top fifteen opponents, just so I can progress in my career. And you know, the better the fighter, the better I'll. I'll rise and perform, do you know what I mean? So it's just about now is just getting myself back, in, get myself in the mix, not back, just get myself in the mix with the big ones and see where I'm at and just give me a shot, do you know what I mean? And you know, that's all I can do. I've, I've you know, I took a defeat to Callum and I've come back with four or five wins since. I've built myself back up. Now I'm I, I'm knocking on the door now, you know, I, I, I want to progress on and be clear and get the big shot. And, Hopefully, you can, you know, Eddie can, can uh, and MTK can come together with something and put me in the direction. Is it quite frustrating from your point of view that all the champions or all the big fights seem to be sort of already taken to a certain extent at this moment in time? Yeah, I mean, in some ways, yeah, because then they're all like beat each other up now, and then hopefully, if I can just come in and get, get me shot. But all the champions have either fought in the first year now. I've, I've been watching them a lot, you know, I've got WBC champion. It just fought in February. Ramirez fought, um, I think, February. So by the summer, them guys will be ready. De Gaulle and Truax, obviously, we've seen the what's going to go on with him. Potential rematch with James De Gaulle, so that leaves that IBF out of yeah, the yeah, that, sort of contention. Yeah, and on number five with the IBF, and got the, the Darrell and the other guy fighting tonight for the Eliminator. Who's Cat's guy? Yeah, you know, on number three with the WBO. Um, you know, Ramirez is four, Jesse Hart number one, Callum number two, he's in it, I'm number three. Uh, he boxed number four, Ramirez in the start of the year. So, you know, where, where's number three? Why am I number three? So, so he's that, um, and the WBA champion, you know, Tyrone Zugu, he's got his mandatory. You know, I'm number four or five with the WBA. I'm the regular the, champion as well, Tyrone Yeah, Zugu. sorry, the regular champion, yeah. yeah. And, you know, I'll travel to Germany and, and, and box him. And, I'll travel to the States and if I get a shot there, do you know what I mean? I'll, I'll travel to what I, I'm in boxing for. If, it, if there's a, a big shot or a big knee, a big fight there, I'll go and take it and do it. So that's where I'm at now. You know, I, I want to, as I said before, just get that bet, you know, that next level opponent where I'll rise then and then I'll go to the next level and that's all about boxing is, you know, is, is moving levels and going up in the rankings and going up in the, in the world and that, that's what I'm at. I feel. I got a good win with Brophy. People said 50-50, and you know I I done that. So I wanted to capitalise on that, and I nearly did. You know, while I was fighting Scotland, and you know, 
it had that in accident happened to him, so I wish him the best on that. So I want to progress now. I want to stay with that level of fighter. Do you know what I mean? Not get me a world title shot. You know, I'll fight eliminated or anything. So I mean, uh, I mean, I'm in a bad situation. Am I really? You know, I, I look at him in the, you know, I'm in the top of the rankings, and I'm, you know, just just there, there about now, knocking on the door. If Eddie can push me forward and. And, that, and that's what I want, that's the fight that I want to get up for and I will get up for. I blame every day now in the, in the gym with Jamie and the lads. Um, you know, it's a second fight with Jamie now and we're learning as, as each camp goes on. So I only had four weeks notice for this. I was ticking over, but no, you need that like proper sparring and that, that training mode. So yeah, so. I'm going on a bit here, aren't I, Jay? So <laughs> you do that. It's been a while since we've had a chance to chat. Yeah. So, I mean, you get it all off your system now. Yeah, I just had a few. Yeah, like last eighteen months for you with the fighting, I had a, you know, a few things out the ring and stuff. Kept myself going. I built myself back, back up. So I just want a, a big fight. I'm, I've been on big bills, and I want to be at a big, on a big bill, top of the bill. Myself, tell him, though, tell yeah. him. You know, Eddie watches this as much as anyone else. Oh, yeah. I think so. We get in the first one tagged in then. <laughs> no, yeah. I mean, uh, I can sit with Eddie now and have a chat with Eddie and see what, what plan he, 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 he can put together. You know, I've got a good eight rounds there with a solid, tough opponent. What I needed, I needed the rounds. Uh, you know, take things from that. You know, get caught with silly shots, but I can, you know, I can come again. I caught him with somebody who's a tough guy. And I can just push on now and I can keep going. And I want the momentum to go now. I don't want to pause and then six, another six, seven months down the line fight again. I want to. Have a couple of have a week or so, a couple of days a week off, and then get back in and then to to May, June, July. Then. Would would the Chris Eubank Junior fight be of any interest to you personally? Is that a fight that you could get up for if it was offered? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. You know, it it, it is if if there's you know something on the line. Like like you know, there was talk to yeah, there was talk to Cox, Eubank. Now, where from me, from my where I'm looking at it is. They've just stepped up to super middleweight. They've had no fight. They've done like, you know, they've got a chance to go on the super series and fight for a world title and big fights and big paydays. And, and here's me, you know what I mean? So, why do I want to go and fight Cox? No disrespect. He got his, his chance, got the call. You wouldn't knock it back. But where am I? Why the, where was my shot? Where was the reserve? You know, where was. So, let's forget about them and let me go and see where I can get to now. Um, but as you said, if if it was a big fight, you know the money was good with you bank, I take that no problem. I fight anyone as as you, everyone knows and what Eddie puts towards me. But it's about fighting the right fight, the right time. Now, Mike here, and I've I always listened to Tony Bellew in his interviews and what he says up to, over the years. And Bellew always says like the right fight, the right time, and that's what it is now for me. I've took fights when I didn't really have to, and I've done it. Yeah, so now it's about the right fight, the right time for me now, and you know I've got to get get myself to be. I want to be a world champion. If I, if I can get it, I'll do it. If it, you know, give me my shot. If I don't, then you know I've, I've, I've tried. You know that's it. So I want to um, keep the momentum going now and keep pushing on. Who wins in the World Boxing Super Series final, in your opinion, WBA Super Champion George Groves or someone you know very well, Callum Smith? Who will you be edging towards in the final? Uh, no fence sitting here. No, there. no. Listen, uh, you know, even though we've got obviously a bit of a bit of history with Callum, with, with obviously fighting him, and he's a scouser. I'm not bitter like like some people are. Do you know what I mean? So I wish him well, and obviously he's a scouser. I hope he can pull it off and win. Um, and then you know, if I keep with him, we can probably get it on again. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> but no, I wish him all the best. And you know what? I say, I, do you think Callum's gonna do it? Uh, it's gonna be a tough one. You know, to be honest, at the start of the series, I said Groves, I picked Groves, but now coming off his shoulder stuff, now how will he come back with it? Um, but a bit close to the time, I can probably say no more. But I've picked Groves to win it, but you know, I won't. I, I'll, I'll probably say Callum, just you know, just off that day, last two performances with his shoulder and you know, whatever. Callum cruising through a good fight, so yeah, and uh, you know, I can maybe get myself a vision for the winner. <laughs> that's, that's, that's it. Wilder Ortiz tonight, 
big fight from New York City. Yeah. Who do you see being victorious in that heavyweight clash? Yeah, I go with Wilder um, in middle rounds. You know, be a good fight first few. Probably, probably tire Ortiz out and, and then take him out in the middle six seven rounds. Lucky Fielding, it's great to get you back on the channel. Yeah. It doesn't seem since last September since we saw you in a boxing ring. So please don't leave it till next September till we see you out in action again. Eddie, you read this. No, <laughs> I've had, yeah, I mean, I'm going to get the momentum going, yeah, I've heard, I've heard May you know, on the Bell UNA in Sutton, so whether it gets confirmed or whether what, I, uh, that's what I've been told, that's what I'll aim to do. Okay, thank you very much for your time today, Rocky, yeah. thank you very much, I'll catch you soon. Yeah, thanks, Jay. In history, all four belts in the Cruiserweight division will belong proudly around the waist of one man.